in Phoenix Pro. Well, I should, I'm sorry, in the clip. A newcomer. Now, I've never, I've never seen this guy. This guy has been traveling up now. This guy is very, very impressive. Some great stats on him. Look at the build. Look at, look at the build on this guy. Very impressive. He looks to be in terrific shape. Trained in CZW. And where? CZW, Combat Zone Wrestling. CZW, Dylan Summer. Yes, sir. The Necro Butcher. That's where this young man trained at. And the stuff I've seen of him online, he's, looked, he's very agile. He's kind of an all-around athlete. He's a brawler. He's a he looks, to be, he looks to be in terrific shape. It's amazing. Wait until you see this guy. This guy is a monster. He hails from Richmond, Virginia, weighing at 235 pounds. He I would concur. Uh -huh. Mad Max Morrison. Mad Max Morrison. I yeah. like the alliteration. The heavy metal, the brawler, the metal head. He looks pretty intimidating to me. <laughs> well, he made his debut here in the central Pennsylvania area back at the, at the Resurrection Rumble in Phoenix Pro Wrestling. Guy's a brawler, a metalhead. Very impressive wrestler. Former tag team champion in his own right with the uh, Relentless Rock Richards. Former UCW tag team champion. And I just can't say enough about his credentials. On the other hand, I hear Joe, James, excuse me, Former ECWA former tag team champion there, also uh, has his own impressive stats. All around fighter, trained in CCW. He had a 21 foot vertical and deadlift, 455 pounds. Wow. That's impressive right there. This match of the, the Mad Max living up to his name. He's he, mad like a mad cow. He is, he's mad all right. He had a nice showing in that battle royal. I must That was just a few months ago. Yes, it was. Just back in uh, late, back in December. Yes. Mad, Mad Max was one of the dozen eliminated by Jack Massacre. Now that's a monster <laughs> right there. They had the monster meeting, the heavy metal monster meeting the real monster, the giant that Jack couldn't slay. And nice, there's the power of Max Morrison. I think in the power division, I think Mad Max might have the advantage over Tahir James. I, I would agree. Both these guys look pretty strong to me. I would say weight-wise and height-wise are pretty well matched up, pretty even. And both guys are trying to feel each other up a little bit. There is a difference in styles, that is for sure. I think, I think you meant to feel each other out, but that's okay. <laughs> you say it your way, I say it my way. Okay. <laughs> I, I, th I think referee Joe needs to pay attention. <laughs> and that's why you'll never if, be remembered, Don. <laughs> exactly. Because if, the, if these two behem behemoths squash that poor guy, he's in trouble. So referee Joe needs to pay attention. Both guys hurt with each other still. Still a feeling out process. Color elbow tie up. Neither one really have an advantage, but I still think that if it goes the distance, it's going to be in uh, Matt Max's for strength, which I, he just proved me right. And what a nip up by James. Wow. He That's impressive. Like, he was like a veritable slinky. Oh, my. I mean, I know I'm showing my age there, but I don't even know if they make slinkies anymore. Well, Todd, welcome to the home of Slinky. They're made in Haldysburg, <laughs> Pennsylvania, just outside of Altoona. See? The James Company. We are not too far from the headquarters. Did you like the way I served that up? There you go, and I knocked it down for you. I, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love you, Mike. It's like volleyball. You have to set her and you have to spike her. Exactly. <laughs> I, I'm a good setter. Not an Irish setter, a Jewish setter. Anyway, uh, let's get back to action. Yeah, you, don't have, oh! you don't have red enough hair for an Irish setter. <laughs> what a chop on the outside, like a gunshot going off. I know. Oh, oh my God, in a right hand. Jesus. Like a gunshot. <laughs> my word. There you go. Oh! <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I was a dentist, I'd be a sponsor here because I'll tell you what. There's going to be a lot of guys needing dentists uh, come Monday morning. And fans, if you catch a tooth, they'll sign it for you. <laughs> they, oh, sure, no. they sure will. Oh, look at this. Oh. That guy, he, he literally, he is a metal head. He's got one of the hardest heads in the business. 
I've heard that from countless wrestlers that have faced him. You headbutt him and he just stands there and looks at you. Wow. I don't know so much that he's got a hard head or he's just uh, stubborn. Well, that, that could be, it could be both. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What, oh! What a nice you know, somebody once told me that men uh, die at an early age due to stubbornness. I said, no, we don't. Exactly. Speaking of stubbornness, uh, Max, to, Max, to, Max, to, Max. To, to hear James uh, met the canvas. <laughs> Face uh, first. Yes, he, he was he was kind of... Uh, Kiss the canvas. He didn't want to do that. He was kind of stubborn. But Mad Max oh kind of, kind of let him do that. That forearm to the back. And there we go, the strength of Max, the power of Max. He's just a brawler. He just gets in there and he like... It's kind of like he, he's a metalhead, so he kind of trained in the mosh pits, you might as well say. We're really learning, you just swing at anything that moves when you're in a mosh pit. I don't know if you've ever been in one. I, 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 I don't really know what that is, So, but I'll take your word for it. So, <laughs> Mosh pits, one of those big fits in the, in the fans at a uh, wrestling, or not a wrestling, oh, at a heavy metal show. Where I don't mean to interrupt you, but look who's at ringside here. It's Otis P. Hellenbach. Otis Hellenbach Otis. at ringside. Well, we know that uh, things have not gone well for him. He kind of disappeared for a while, took some time off, I went on sabbatical. Maybe he's he said he, I think he was fishing, wasn't he? He said that he was fishing. That's what he told Drew. That he was fishing. I don't know if he caught any fish. I don't know. But he's out here scouting. Well, he's done fishing. One of these are both uh, of them. You don't know that. He might be fishing for talent. He could be. But look at these guys. There's now, oh, look at his big, go for a body slam. It looks effortless. Mad Max just makes this look easy. God, what a slam. The impact. I don't know if he's if either one of these gentlemen are impressing Otis or if he's just out here having a drink, taking a stroll. Hey, with Otis, you don't know. He can be doing both. Oh, what exactly. an elbow drop. Ex exactly. That's so impressive. Honey's from uh, Mad Max there. It sure was. He's, it, he's not a little guy. No, it looks like he's stage diving at a metal concert. Again, I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about, Mike Edwards. You're going to go home and you're going to start demonizing. Like, oh, you did it, you too. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm too too old for uh, mosh diving or whatever you said. Stage diving. Whoa, that nice was impressive. Ability. Whoa. And a nice roll through by James. James has a nice little combo there. And a reversal and a, a attempted pin. This oh. drop kick. I think uh, Mad Max has seen that once too often. He just slaps on the back of the head. So ignorant. Oh my god, agility. That was impressive. He was like a slinky. <laughs> that, no doubt. Oh, the, you know, Xavier's kind of like a slinky. He doesn't serve any purpose, but it's kind of fun to push him down the of stairs. <laughs> the famers are over the back. The leaping ability, that 21 foot vertical. The kick out. 21 feet. He says 21 foot vertical. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe 21 Well, maybe inches. if you're reaching up, it's 21 well, foot. Well, yeah. But that vertical, that's still pretty impressive. That well, guy can dunk I, a basketball. I, I would imagine, but if he can jump 21 feet, that's almost Look, to I'm, that beam. I'm, I'm telling you what I'm, what I'm getting. Well, right. I'm telling you. I'm not a carpenter, but I'm telling you. <laughs> any man who can watch, jump 21 feet. It's being in the Olympics. Now look at this, stomping the feet. That's a jawbreaker that, using that metal head. Again, any dentist out there looking for sponsorship opportunities. Getting that, that metal at the, the chrome dome. Get in touch with EclipseWrestling.com. <laughs> now, uh, Mad Max heading off the ropes, going through ropes himself. Oh, no. A little, a little do -si do A heavy metal do -si do if you will. I guess. <laughs> and oh, he almost do -si do referee Joe. Oh, and kind of looking like, again, looking like a stage guy the way he hit him in a corner. Nice suplex. Very nice suplex. Oh, out. and uh, again, referee, referee Joe having a bit of difficulty staying just out of the, the rest, rest, wrestler's way. This, that, that's just the way it works. This uh, Matt Matt, he's actually a drummer in the heavy metal band. He's been drummer for 16 years in various bands, too. Imagine that. I'm a drummer. Well, you I, sure are. I, you uh, you, you I, drum no, up a lot of things. I, I actually played at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2003. <laughs> And, and I resent that, that I drum up a lot of things, Mike it's Edwards. A, What's that, wrong with you? Was that, was that before they asked you to leave? <laughs> Where? The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Let's get back <laughs> to the action, Mike Edwards. Uh, look at you sitting on the back. Oh, the forearm shots of Mad Max. <laughs> referee, referee Joe's asking him to, to hear if he's giving it up, and he says no. Well, here, I don't think he wants his debut here in, uh, in Eclipse. He doesn't want to watch. Honestly. Yeah, but, no, but nobody does. No. 
It happens, but you don't want to go to Washington State. But, 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 well, somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose, Mike. Exactly. And now look at this. Very easy. Look at the sleeper hold. Kind of an old school move right there, but I like it. Too. I don't like when you said old school and you look at me. I don't know, what, <laughs> I don't know if that was subconscious or not. <laughs> well, I think you could appreciate a sleeper hold, Todd. I'll break her to get out of it. I'm not saying you're, you've been around a little while. I, I have. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. it's, it's a respectful oh. one. played by Tahir James. Nicely done. That was impressive. Blocks of right hand. That one blocked a middle left hand too. Going for, what's he going for? He's got him in that reverse DDT position. Picking him up. Oh man, what his first suplex. And so here James showing that strength though that he has. A great core strength by oh my oh. god, a running knee strike. Again, that's that, gonna leave a mark. That running that was an amazing knee strike. Ah. And I'm, I'm looking over at Otis, and he seems to be, uh, I don't know if he's really impressed by I, these guys. I don't know what he's doing over there. Uh, you know, hey, he's, he's just standing there. He's not even... Here's the thing that I found out about, about Otis. I've known him a very long time. If he's got a talent, he does not let you know when he's impressed. But he well, just kind of watches. Well, that's for sure. Here we go. To hear James heading to the top rope. An impressive young man. I'm impressed with to hear James. I'd like to see more of him around. Looks like he's, he's going, going coast to coast. The oh my god! He was coast to coast. The, 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 the quote Joey Styles. Oh my god! Wow. That is a real super fly like maneuver. He, he probably jumped 21 feet. Wow. I mean, that was at least three quarters of the way across the ring, if not more. Maybe four fifths. Only a fraction of people would get that. Yeah. Probably six eighths. <laughs> Impressive debut for Tahir Jones. Even though he's on the losing end, I think this kid is impressive. I, I I have to agree with you. That that leap across the ring was very impressive. But Max is the first one up. How scary is that? Well, Mad Max is kind of a scary guy. <laughs> he's the guy that got you don't want to meet in a dark alley or even a lighted one for that matter. I wouldn't want to meet him in, in a brightly lighted room. Oh my god. Torture rack. The Argentina backbreaker. Lex Luger used this maneuver to great success back in the late 80s, early 90s. And look at the, that's just the power of this man. Oh, he just dumps him in the middle of the ring. But you can see that that splash still took a lot out of Max. And Max is not quite back. Oh, sure. There It's Max. Going no. up to the top rope himself? I think he is. I, I don't really see. I, I don't even think he knows what he's doing. He's got know. a loose cannon. He's got something loose up there. Now I think he's going to attempt. Well, 12 minutes to midnight from the top rope he goes. And a miss! And the pool is empty. No one home. The court Alice Cooper, is anyone home? There was not anyone home. There was not. There was not. We see Max pull himself back up to his feet. He's still the first one up. <laughs> I don't know if he does enough sets to stay down. I mean, he's crazy. Mad Max, he's a little crazy. Oh my God, that wow. right. The talented hands of Tahir James, excuse me. And now just pounding on him. Chops at the chops at the chops. Lighting up Mad Max. Well, I like to stay on him, young man. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, telegraphed a little bit. Well, I guess that's kind of old school. Uh, we'll say he yeah, texted it. Variation of the Norman Light suplex. Oh. Nicely done by Tahir James. Down to the middle, cover. Look at the way he's got him stacked up. That was, that's it. So he did win. He's got it. Well, well the youngster pulled it off, Mike. I don't know if he's going to uh, get a contract from uh, Otis or what. Otis seems to be looking his way. Well, you know, again, you can never read Otis. I can never tell what he's thinking. No. He, he's always got that look on his face, but he, we do know he's scouting new talent. Or he should be scouting new talent. It's, it's made, that's just all it is. Yeah, you know, I don't blame him. If he wants to scout both these guys, pick up one of these guys or both these guys for his talent pool, I don't blame him. Both these guys looking in 
impressive in the ring. Exactly. Both men will be welcome uh, members of the Hellenback Enterprises. 